In this lapidary video, we're going to be using our flat lap to grind away the husk on six Lake Superior agates, and we're going to polish them. By grinding away the husk on these agate nodules, we're hoping to expose some hidden bands inside. So here's the first agate nodule we're going to grind away the husk on to try to expose some bands. You can already see on the back side there's a nice window here. We're going to leave that alone and just go for this top spot here to give it a nice rounded polish as long as there's bands. Let's get going. Alrighty, so we've been grinding on this for a few minutes. A lot of flat spots that we're gonna work out later on in the polishing process, but if I get this wet here, it's got some really beautiful details coming in right here, right here, Looks like there's some bands hiding underneath the husk right here and some really cool speckles hiding in this one. So I'm going to keep grinding down a little bit, bring it down a little further here, here, and here. Hopefully we can get some more details showing. So I know this isn't the classic Lake Superior agate banding that we're used to, but it's so unique with these cool details. And this little uh, north star that's peeking up on top of this mountain here. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. I don't want to go any further down on this. So we're going to put this in a bucket of water. We're going to move on to another egg nodule. And we'll see what's going on inside this one. I like the bottom of this. It sits nice and flat. So we're just going to bring the top down and work its way down this way and see what we can expose. Look at how unique what's on the inside of this husk. I think if we go down any further, it's just going to be clear. And there's an eye right there. Check that out. Oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful, beautiful husk just under the limonite. Oh. I'm just going to do some light touching up of this and we're going to leave that one as is. That is so cool. That's so unique. So here's the next nodule and I am still not sure exactly what to do with this. Um, I've thought about taking the back off, coming around right here, which is probably what I'll do. Looks like there is some bands right there. We'll save the bands right here and we'll do a rounded polished right here. Let's get started with that. So as you can see that red Lake Superior agate left a nice little residue on my flat lap but the uh, the bands that are showing up on this Hard to see, but they are so fine. You can really see them right there. So far, probably one of the best one for bands. And that'll be a really cool polish. Nice, flat, rounded polish there. Can sit like that, it'd be really cool. All right, on to the next nodule. Here's another one that doesn't show any bands, but I'm gonna leave the bottom so that we can polish the top. Rounded like that. And we'll do like we did to this little uh, dragon egg here. We'll just do a kind of a rounded top. We got eyes. <laughs> oh, now I'm nervous to go down any further on there. We'll be careful right there. So that guy doesn't have a ton of crazy details, but it does have one, two, three eyes in there. I'm mainly thinking about this one. I think that'll be really cool polished. And uh, looks like there's some other ones hiding, but I don't want to go down too much further. 
and try to keep it nice and rounded. But pretty cool, we got some more eyes. Love that. We got two more agate nodules to go. This one I'm really, really excited about. And I'm trying to remember what I was going to do with this one. That's right. I, there's these really nice bands right here. I want to preserve that. So I'm just going to work around the top here and bring it down. So this might be hard to see, but there are bands right here coming down. And I know there's bands on this side. I'm hoping that they kind of run through that way. So I'm going to keep bringing it down a little bit because that's just, that's not enough for me. I got to find some more bands. So turn the water back on here and uh, we'll do a little bit more. So we worked that one pretty good and the bands come down a little bit here little bit down in there but it's pretty foggy but I think after polishing you can see there's a nice little triangle there coming down through here it's like a little chevron pattern I think it's gonna polish up really nice and then right here and right there it looks like little flower patterns and this white husk is coming in too so I think this one will be really unique really cool just not it just didn't have the bands that I was expecting because of this backside so we can move on to our last nodule this is the one I'm most excited about it's got this beautiful little window right here that we're gonna leave and on this backside right here we're gonna work this down and again I'm hoping that you can see the bands I'm hoping that they run in like that to this backside so let's see what it's got That was eight and a half minutes. But look at the banding that we exposed on this. <laughs> Talk about saving the best for last. What are the chances? 
That is so beautiful. I cannot wait to see this polish. It's going to be so amazing. So that was definitely the fun part, running through the 180 grit disc on my flat lap to expose all the bands and the beautiful details in these egg nodules. I'm gonna polish every one of them because I think each one has its own uniqueness and beauty to it. And that's gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna work through all of these discs right here. We have the 260, the 325, the 600, the 1200, and the 3000 grit. So I'm gonna switch out to the 260 grit disc We'll start working all these egg nodules. We'll see you on the other side. So we did it, we got all these polished, and I'm gonna show you these from, they're all amazing, but least favorite to favorite. <laughs> like I said, these are all spectacular. Still got some fuzz on it from that 14,000 grid felt disc, but and it's gonna be hard to show you some of the details because of the lighting, but this one's got some nice banding right there, and then right there is a cool little flower that's showing up in there. That is really, really neat. This is a pretty cool egg. I was hopeful, like I said earlier, that there'd be more bands in that one. But it is what it is. This one is really cool. has a lot of eyes in it. And I just love the husk. It's just like it's still kind of hanging on in there, but it still shows up. So that is really, really neat. I like this one a lot. I like this one too because it's really blue. And this pattern right here, that is not a smudge. That is just very, very thin little layers going on in there. And as we got through the polishing process on this, you can see all of these eyes throughout the entire thing. So many eyes. I don't know if I've ever seen that many eyes in one stone before. That is crazy. <laughs> so cool this is one of the best polishes I have gotten with the flat lap look at the light play on that in the banding it's from here although it's through the whole thing you can kind of see it in the light there banding all the way through see that that's really cool I'm still blown away by it. Took a really great polish. This one, I love how this mountain has shown up in there. That is really, really cool. Really cool details down here as well. Little tubes going on. Maybe half an eye right there. In the light right there, you can see there's some very thin layers of eyes going on. That's kind of cool. I like that one a lot. And my favorite one. <laughs> this guy look at the details of that amazing man I don't even know what to say about this one I'm just blown away I was I was, had so much fun grinding and grinding and looking grinding and looking grinding and looking and then all these details came out it was so fun oh I hope you guys enjoyed it I had an absolute blast if you did like this video, please do me a huge favor. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know which one of these Lake Superior agates was your favorite. Thanks for watching. Bye.